I-90 Speedway is set to host its season opener a week from today, and as the track enters its third year since reopening, it'll see the return of 410 sprints to Hartford this season for the first time in more than a decade. There's something about 410 sprint racing that brings excitement to both drivers and fans alike. A lot of power. It's so usable. They're fun to drive. When they're right, there's nothing more fun to drive. But when they're not right, there's nothing more evil to drive. Since it don't get any better than the 410s, you know, that's the most horsepower sprint car out there. Uh, it's the best drivers out there. For the first time since 2009, 410s will race at I-90 Speedway when the Northern Outlaw Sprint Association visits on May 15th. And the last 410 show I had was more just a local 410 deal. Uh, so, you know, this for a regional 410 show at I-90 Speedway, it goes clear back in the late, early 80s probably. Jody Rosenboom took home the checkered flag the last time 410 races were held in Hartford. I remember Basically, we ran the top the whole race. Um, I remember starting qualifying, starting on the front row, and basically led the whole race. Rosenboom says it's nice to see more local tracks hosting 410s again. It opens up, you know, different avenues for them to draw people in, draw cars in. You know, guys that they normally names that you wouldn't normally hear at these tracks. You know, you will hear for these races. The NOSA Sprints will be the only 410 races held at I-90 Speedway, and the track can't wait. For them to come. It's a lot of good racing. There'll be a lot of dicing back and forth, a lot of experience. Anytime you can get those guys in a in a field, you know, you it, it's just an awesome event. On I-90 Speedway season opens a week from today. Hot laps are set to begin at 6:30, with the first race is scheduled to start at 7 o'clock.